So let's talk about how we would divide 5.2 by 3. It's nothing different than what we've already been doing, right? So let's set up the long division the right way. So what goes on the outside of the division? 3 goes on the outside because that's the divisor, and the 5.2 goes on the inside, right? Okay. So does 3 go into 5? 3 goes in here once. Bring up that decimal point so you don't forget about it. So 1 times 3 is 3. You get a remainder of 2. And bring down the 2. So 3 goes into 22 how many times? Okay. So there's 7. 7 times 3 is? 21. And I get a remainder of 1. Do I stop here? No. Now, remember what Michael Jackson said. Don't, don't stop till you get enough. Mm -hmm. Come on. So bring down the 0. 3 goes into 10 how many times? 3 times 3 is 9. Man, I get a remainder of 1. Well, I guess I better add another 0, right? So 3 goes into 10 how many times? Boy, that sounds like I've already said that. It goes in 3 times, right? 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract that, and I get a remainder of 1. You tell me to stop? Yes, I think so. But Michael Jackson told me I couldn't stop. I don't think I've gotten enough yet. <laughs> if I keep putting in if I keep putting a zero, what's gonna happen? I still keep ending up with the same set of numbers, right? The threes keep going on. Will this ever end? No. But I ain't scared. See, this guy's just going to keep on going with the same pattern, right? The three's going to keep on going. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. So how do I write this? How can I be exact when I write this? Because if you round or truncate, now truncating means you would just pick a certain spot and you just cut off everything else after that. There's no rounding at all. If you truncate or if you round, it's not exact. So this answer here is 1.7, and it's the threes that are repeating, right? So we put a repeating bar over the three. That's the guy that keeps repeating over and over and over again. Okay. So this is what the exact answer would be. But again, a lot of times you see the book or an assessment will say round, round to the nearest thousandth. So if I round to the nearest thousandth, what would it be? Here's your thou thousandth spot. Does it stay the same or does it go up? It stays the same. So it would be one point seven three three but again you don't round unless I tell you to round this answer right here this is an exact answer because this three with the bar over it this repeating bar tells us that the threes keep on going now here's a little side note for you any decimal <laughs> that stops or repeats is it's a rational number. So let me tell you this. Rational numbers, and really rational numbers are of this form. It's of any fraction A over B, where A and B are integers, and B does not equal zero. Any fraction that you have with integers and, B and the denominator is not zero, it's a rational number. 
Now in terms of decimals, what that means is that the decimal representation either stops or repeats in a pattern. So examples that we've already seen of these rational numbers, um, the number that we just looked at in the last video, 2.9125. This decimal stopped, right, because we had a remainder of zero. But even if it didn't stop, what would be the numbers coming out after this? Zero. All zeros, right? And the zeros would keep repeating, right? So in a form, it's kind of a, it looks kind of like a repeating decimal. But this guy, it stopped. The last number that we saw here, just above, is 1.73 repeating. Okay? You might even see something like this, where it would be, say, 5.1575. Five, seven, five, seven, and so on. Now you may not keep writing out all those numbers, but you might say this, 5.1, and it's the five sevens that repeat. So you put the repeating bar over the five and the seven. So those are rational numbers. Well, then you have things that are irrational. Irrational numbers so the decimals don't stop or repeat in a pattern. There are some irrational numbers that you guys already know, I bet. One of the most classic irrational numbers is pi. And pi is a ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. And in, we would normally approximate pi to be what? What do you guys remember? 3.14, which is why we're spring break. People may have celebrated Pi Day on March 14th. Now, it keeps on going. 3.14159265353. Well, there's no pattern to this. It just keeps going. Uh, some things like the square root of 2. The square root of 2 is approximately 1.414, but the decimal representation is really weird after that. It doesn't have a pattern. There's no pattern at all. And then there are numbers that we could make up where there's no, there's no repetition in the pattern. Uh, here's a classic one, 1.01, 1 .01, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and so on. There's not a pattern, I mean, there's kind of like a pattern to this, like how you could keep on going, but it doesn't repeat. There, there's, no, there's no repetition here. Like up here, it's 575757. Seven, five, seven, five, or this guy was, the threes kept on going. This doesn't repeat the same way. So these are irrational numbers. Math coming at you.